Hello and welcome to the Alive Tool introduction tutorials for beginners. No, in fact, it's for people who want to know how a live tool works. And in fact, I want to show you how fast and easy it is to work with the live tool. And just to demonstrate you how fast, uh, okay, how fast rendering uh, goes, we will delete empty or all our cache. And we will render in half resolution, press space. And look, well, that's pretty fast. That's really, really fast if you will compare with other more complicated tutorial. And keep in mind that it is a simulation. So uh, you, if you will jump somewhere in the middle, it will have to render all of it. You see, it's already rendering. So, yes, a live tool. It's pretty simple. You have a start shape. It's what you will, uh, what you will be destroyed, what will be destroyed by reaction diffusion. And you have end shape is uh, where you put, oh, let me show you. Let's create black solid. And end shape, uh, blackness means no reaction diffusion, no life etc and uh, white spaces uh, telling to a live tool to grow for example let's destroy a little bit our logo yes like that and what will happen you see and shape uh, determining uh, telling to our live tool uh, some borders where to grow and where to stop so that's it. In fact, that's everything you need to know about a live tool. Everything else is just small details. But in fact, in details is the most beautiful part. And main control. Well, let's do it a little bit uh, prettier. I don't know. Something like that. Mm. Yeah, why not? Why not? So main controls. It's also everything is super organized everything is clean you have controls there are not so much controls like you know when you have to scroll and there is a lot of a lot of different control in fact uh even this control you can uh divide by three simple categories in fact blur and deblur uh it's kind of creative settings so just keep in mind that it's better to keep them uh in equal numbers like four four maybe eight eight higher numbers uh means oh my god why oh of course that's a great example blackness kill reaction diffusion whiteness uh leave it alone and uh give it just keeping it alive yes we made it a little bit bigger vector motion I will show you what is it a little bit later. Uh, grow brights, mid tones, and dark tones. We control all our reaction diffusion with color correction. And in fact, it's lightness uh, effect with, uh, with some expressions. So in fact, it's just color correction. So darkness means uh, our reaction diffusion is black. So if you will color correct it and make it darker, our reaction diffusion is black, so making it darker uh, will make it uh, grow faster, thicker, etc. For example, let's make it a little bit darker. What will happen? You see, it's bigger with not so not with not so much of white dots. Let's make it brighter. Also, you can see what you're doing uh, in main controls. And it will destroy our reaction diffusion. And you can use it in creative way. Maybe only make dark tones dark and mid tones and bright tones. Uh, leave, it, leave, leave it them bright. Well, uh, that's not so interesting. What if we will make dark tone and mid tones darker, but leave our bright controls? Well, that's also interesting. 
what if we will we'll make all the values close to each other again no 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 it's too bright it's too dark you see i'm already playing i because it's always interesting to get some creative results mm, that's it main controls and of course the most interesting and fun part is edit folder in which you have grow mask which in fact just uh telling to uh, let me show you let create uh let's create black and create some kind of this shape and what it does grow mask uh again black means no reaction diffusion white means uh less reaction diffusion happen uh sometimes you don't want to destroy all your logo for example like that and you want to destroy only some parts for example uh, overlay mask that is the most interesting ma map uh, overlay map and vector map in fact is maps that you will use all the time because they're very fun and interesting so uh overlay map it behaves like normal overlay because i told you before that a live tool i mean not live tool, reaction diffusion uh you we controlling reaction diffusion with color correction in main controls we control it uh, grow brights mid tones dark tones but we applying uh these parameters for a whole image but with our overlay map as you can expect turbulent noise and uh, let's make it string simple and make it contrast yeah just for example so uh dark areas means that here will be a lot of reaction diffusion white areas will destroy a little bit reaction diffusion which will result in interesting creative image you see let's invert it yeah that's overlay map just to show you how it works uh, we can uh, create more obvious example of how you could control some part of your image oh my god and make some part of your reaction diffusion thicker or thinner well i really like that <laughs> that's interesting kind of abstract image yeah so and 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 uh, vector map that's really interesting uh map it using uh vector blur which is uh creating motion uh and getting information from image and vector motion create motions from black to white right now i created gradient from black to white so if i remember everything right our reaction diffusion should okay okay of course that's why we need vector motion and our vector yes from black to white yeah using by using vector map and in main controls in control uh, f, f, uh, layer uh cranking up vector motion uh, values you could create motion in any direction you want for example from from we need we want to move we want our reaction diffusion to move from left to right as i said from black to white so we create black we move black point here and white point here so our reaction with diffusion will move from left to right a little bit slow maybe we could speed up it a little bit yeah and because it is vector map it's map it's a texture we could experiment 
and create interestingly looking motions what for example right here from black to white so let's just have a look what's going on boom <laughs> yeah whoa yeah it's too much of vector motion maybe three Ta-da! And again, every map, overlay map is animatable. Vector map is animatable. All these parameters is animatable. Also, there are some small details which you will learn in 12 tutorials inside a live tool. Uh, for example, if you will uh, create and shape a little bit blurred out, that will give you another result, which is also interesting. It will kill a little bit when they are moving to the borders, which is also interesting. So that's it. I tried to keep it short, but it's already 12 minutes. So that's it. It's really fast. It's really easy to use. And there are a lot of possibilities, a lot of combinations. And you will find it useful in many, many projects of yours. So thank you very much.